Hey guys, it is Wednesday, July 27th. It's your boy Tory Block, the quickest diva in the West. Pow, pow, pow. Hey, I got some really exciting news. I'm so happy. Today is my 90 day transformation goal. I'm celebrating. We did it. I can't believe this. I'm so excited. Um, I started this 90 days challenge uh, back in April and I just I cannot believe that today is that day today is the, the, the goal date of that um, night that I started and decided that I'm going to change my health for the better get a better outlook perspective on things or whatever it is I needed to do to uh, improve my happiness and that's what I just and that's what and, and, and that's what today means that's what this goal is um, an accomplishment of it's a personal goal and wow um, yeah like really wow uh, 90 days the 90 day challenge it included stretching exercises a it's included a fat burning workout and cardio activity, cardio training, lots of running, lots of steps, lots of heels. And I've been doing it um, so as often as I could per week, I've tried to maintain three times a week. But anyway, besides all that, that's not the exciting part. The exciting part is that we did it. We did it and we feel great and we, um, you know, there's so many things to celebrate right now as a result of this challenge. And I think, um, I think the biggest thing for me is that I feel much better about myself than I did uh, three months ago. Like I just feel so much better about myself. I'm breathing better, I'm standing taller, I have a better skin complexion. You know, I the goal was to sort of lose weight, um, get a manage of my cholesterol levels, and lose like 40 pounds, <laughs> um, which is a really tough thing to do. Um, but let's talk about um, you know April 28 when I first started, and that night I was probably at the heaviest that I've ever been. I was considered obese by the BMI chart and I was well over 180, 180 pounds which is um, you know it's like it's very superficial in some sense but I was pretty heavy and my body has you know it was changing and I didn't get out into the you know I wasn't very physically active I spent a lot of time um, you know on the computer and that wasn't really good for my body um, I think like I wanted to do this challenge because I was just so tired of myself I was actually sick and tired of myself not being able to run not being able to go out for walks uh, being tired every day and just not being able to um, get out and do the things that I usually enjoy um, you know with happiness like I've always you know when I'm out in public or at events or talking with people or visiting friends and family and stuff like that I would get really conscious about myself I'd be conscious about what the clothes I'm wearing about how I'm sitting um, you know if people were looking at me or something like that and I wasn't really the most enjoyable person to be around uh, during that time because I just wanted to leave right away I often found myself in places where I just wanted to you know be there for five ten minutes and then just leave and that was mostly due to the way I would feel about myself and I just one night I just I recall I was just like you know what I really got to face myself and I really got to take a photo of myself and just see how I look what it is it exactly that is making me so unhappy and um, I remember that night it was about midnight and I walked up to the living room and um, I took off all my clothes and I um, just took a picture of my of my body and, and and wanted to see okay am I is this all in my mind or you know do I really need to change something and I think that um, that photo that night that I took really helped motivate me a whole lot to uh, doing something about it because nobody was coming to save me nobody was coming to help me um, like I had to do something 
about myself to change the way that I was feeling about things. And I took a whole bunch of photos that night, my front, my side, my back, and I was like, okay, you can do this. I had to look in the mirror and say, okay, this is something you can do. You're gonna figure it out. You're going to get back out on the, on the running trail. You're gonna be physically active. It looks really bad right now, but um, give it a couple weeks and you're gonna be uh, getting into it and it will be a piece of cake. And I think um, that night that I took those photos, I, um, I didn't know the impact that it would have on me in the coming weeks. And I um, decided one day that, I, and, that, and that night I decided that I was going to do this. So I did. And um, it was really hard and challenging um, to commit to it and just to, just to leave my house, just to leave my apartment, just, just to go outside. Just to take those first few steps, that was the hardest thing to do. And um, I tried to ease in it to it as best I can, but I just, I didn't have the energy there. Like the energy to do it, the belief in myself wasn't there. Nothing for me was doing it. I didn't want to do it. I didn't, I, you know, um, I think, I think what motivated me the most about that time was, um, I think just looking back at myself from the previous months, I would look at the pictures that I had before and I would like, oh my gosh, look at my face. And I had like pimples and I had, you know, double chins happening. And, and, and all those, and all these unpleasant photos of me were, was actually making me uh, motivated to, to just say, okay, you can do it. It's gonna be a piece of cake, just do it. And I remember that one night that I tried to go out for a walk and it was the most grueling experience of my life. I was hot, I was sweaty, I was tired, I was unfriendly, I was um, like, I did not get a workout that day. I just felt like I felt more miserable afterwards. And I was just like, oh my God, like, do I have to, do I have to do this? Um, I knew that I had to keep up with some learning about working out. I had to learn about uh, stretching exercises. Um, you know, I had to learn that routine. I had to learn how to get into a routine that I'm gonna get myself adjusted to and hopefully uh, be able to do every single week. I remember a long time ago when I was <laughs> Like, this is a few years ago now, but um, when I was working out and I was hitting the trails and I was at the gym all the time, um, I was a monster. Like, like I was unstoppable. I was working out six times a week. I was I was at the gym six times a week. I was running, and I was um, I had a calorie deficit. And this is a couple years. This is a few years ago. So I was I don't know. Like I was. Um, maybe three, four, three, four years younger, and um, I was just thinking back at myself, like, how did I do that? Like, like, I mean, I'm not, you know, like, I'm not so out of shape that I, you know, can't go for a walk anymore. But I was thinking, like, wow, that was a really, um, like, I was really motivated back then. Um, and this time around, I had to find my own motivation. I had to find out what exactly it is that the reason why that I was doing all of this for and I think that I um, just had to believe in myself I had to believe in myself all over again um, through an incredible year that I had of loss and grief and um, uh, personal life tragedies that I was going through this year I had to believe in myself through all of that and say that this is why I'm doing this for you. Um, this is why I need to do this, not just for myself, but for other people who um, 
you know, believe in me as well. And I and 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 all of this stuff is what's kind of going through my head when I'm going on these walks. You know, the first start, the first time I started off this program, all these thoughts were going through my head, like, give me a reason, please, to motivate me to run, to jog. And I think that for. And then one day, I think it just, you know, um, it didn't take long. It really didn't take long. I think maybe all of that was like the first week, maybe. The first week of um, actually trying to commit and, um, and, uh, and somewhere very early on, even through all of my self-doubt, um, I started remembering why I like to work out just in general, not even for a goal, not even to, you know, prove something and not that I ever tried to prove something before, but just, uh, just, um, just the, just the reason why I love going out is because, um, you know, you can see it in yourself after you go for a nice long walk. Uh, when you get back home and uh, you think, you know, you had a long day or it's rough and you just, you know, you look at the mirror and you're like, wow, I don't look so bad. I, I, I look better than I actually thought I did. Um, and that's just from one night of walking. Just one night going out and taking in some fresh air or whatever, it really made a huge difference. And the most surprising thing about that is that, like, this difference wasn't seen until a week after I took some photos of myself. Just, just, just for progress, just because I'm recording, I'm um, trying to keep a diary of this 90 day challenge. And I think that I just, um, you know, I look at a photo a week later and I'm like, whoa. That walk just turned everything around for me that day, that night. And, um, you know, it's those small little motivations, those small little reminders, even in your phone, in your, in your uh, picture galleries that remind you like, yeah, you know what? This actually is working. This actually is doing something. For, I don't know what it's doing. I don't know, you know, what I'm, you know, I, I'm not you know, losing any more fat than I had before. I just, something's working, I don't know what it is, but I like it. I keep in those little reminders in my, in my um, exercise routine along the way, kind of help me push me the following week until, um, you know, those changes start happening, those, those personal changes where you don't wake up and you're tired and groggy, when you actually feel wake up energized and you're just like, oh my gosh, like, so many things to do and you're um, you know really excited to meet to greet the day um, I think that the I think a 90 day challenge like the, the main goal was to lose weight 40 pounds and you know make some changes to my lifestyle which you know that um, I think I, I think that that takes time and dedication, of course, like over a longer period. I don't know how some people do it. I don't know how they lose. I don't know how they transform their body after, you know, after literally 90 days um, and they get a six pack. They go from belly fat to a six pack in like 90 days. Um, but I almost 100% think that that comes, that doesn't come just in, just like, it, they tried it once, they learned from it, they tried it again, they learned from it, they tried it again, they learned from it, they tried it again, they learned from it, until that moment that it just clicks and you're like, all right, I'm gonna do it, because I can, I will be able to do it. And you put yourself out there and that kind of commitment will drive you. And you'll, you know, you'll go from, you know, body, you, you know, belly to six pack, you know, after a number of days, after a number of trials, I guess you would call them trials. I think that, um, you know, 
all of that is just secondary. Like, all of that is secondary. The real exciting thing about um, this journal is the, is the parks that I've been to, that I've been working out at, uh, Nose Hill Park, Fish Creek Park, um, Glenmore Trail, like all of these pathways that I've taken um, over the last um, several hundred weeks, um, all those parks that I've been to um, have really given me different workout experiences. And um, as you'll see in my like uh, my playlist there, I've you know McHugh is my favorite park. It is just. The steps are so steep. People out there are so friendly. Everybody's working out. It's a really motivating place. And I think what keeps me going back there is just the beautiful people. Like if anything, beautiful people are just motivating. <laughs> when they are in, you know, that, 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 that fitness level that you're at and, and all you want to talk about is diet and eating and working out and stuff like that. Um, and, and, and you know, they tell you about their results and you're like, yeah, this is, you know, and a lot of people, they just, they just, you know, it's like they're just with you. It's like they're cheering you on, they're smiling at you, you're working hard, you're sweating. Um, the McHugh Blood Park has been one of my favorite parks this entire workout program. And the stairs there have knocked me off my feet. <laughs> they have knocked me off my feet. Um, they are steep, they're hard to run, but I do them five times clockwise, counterclockwise, I do them uh, three times a week. And uh, the main challenge in this goal is doing these workouts three times a week. You gotta run, you gotta do your stretching exercises, you gotta do your uh, hybrid workout. Doing those three times a week takes rest in between, it takes a good diet, you gotta strip your diet of uh, processed foods, but also sugar, sugar has been the sugar literally is my killer. Like if I have a chocolate bar, I put on all the pounds of fat that I had the day before back on like that. So staying away from sugar is a really tough uh, one as well. But um, you know, you, you just gotta keep at it every single day. You just gotta keep at it. You just gotta keep on working out. Um, and, you know, getting those miles in and 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 really feeling that that you know that muscle right you, you gotta you gotta you gotta feel every step you can't you know half-ass your steps you know and not to sound like um you know that's such a brutal experience um all i'm saying is that when you're out there on the trail you gotta feel your step you gotta feel that heel you gotta feel that arc in your foot you gotta feel your your your, your toes leave the um you know, leave the ground every stride you take. It, you know, that that kind of focus is what's really helped me the most in my workout program because I'm like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, the whole way. So I'm running about five kilometers, and you know, sometimes even ten kilometers, and um, you know, that's my mentality. Like the majority of the trail. One, two, one, two, focusing, 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 making sure that my posture is great, making sure that I'm not, um, you know, straining myself or being extraneous on any of my muscle groups. I'm making sure that when I'm walking, that I'm swinging my arms out. Uh, I'm swinging my arms as I walk. I'm making sure that uh, my I'm standing tall and that I'm lifting my legs when I run or walk or jog or whatever it is. That I'm actually not just kind of out there slugging on the trail, sliding and whatnot. I'm actually working those steps. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And it is the workout that you need when you're out there because you are sweating, you're burning calories. Um, and then one more thing is keeping that midsection nice and tight. Um, you know, keeping that midsection nice and tight while you're walking and running has also really helped me shrink my belly fat. Um, over the last several weeks, I'm focused on my midsection as I'm walking, as I'm jogging, as I'm running. And, um, Keeping that core nice and tight um, really is, um, you really see that result the next day. Your um, stomach is a lot more defined or toned 
and you just kind of want to keep that activity happening at minimum three times a week. Um, for somebody my age, I'm 37 years old, um, you know, I'm not trying to be too extraneous. I'm trying to maintain myself and maintain, um, you know, what it is I can manage because the second and the second, any, any time on any of my runs, the second that I feel strain, I stop. Like that to me is like, if I don't stop, I'm going to injure myself and, um, and I won't be able to run the following day or the day after. I, I, those recovery periods are so important to these workouts because if you are consistent, right, you want to keep your consistency. If you're working out every Wednesday at this time, you want to stay at that time or that hour. If you're working just three to three days a week, you want to make sure that you're not missing any one of those days. So you are trying to keep that consistency and when you do have an injury it breaks that consistency and you and it's a struggle to get back on it so the second I feel um, any strain in my um, legs my my bones my ankles my wrists anywhere um, that to me means like okay that's um, that's it for the day um, and that's all you need and sometimes these exercises are really only 20 minutes but um, you really got to have a good workout and make sure that, uh, you know, if you're going to be working out for 45 minutes, that you can do 45 minutes without injury. And sometimes that's all it takes, you know. Some people can do it for two hours, right? Sometimes I've been out on the hill for like three hours, just walking, jogging, walking, jogging. Like I could be out outside for, you know, um, that amount of time and sometimes it's not necessary sometimes you just need sometimes you just need 20 minutes and that's your working if that's some of the things that i'm learning about from this experience is that you don't have to really push yourself you know towards the impossible that's you know uh you know unless you're training right unless you're you know an olympian right you might want to do that but in terms of um improving you know your health your physical well-being like 20 minutes a week uh, a 20 minute workout a week is um, you know is, is all that's generally recommended I think that um, my most exciting I think my most exciting um, I think what I'm learning right now is just how is how to I okay so the, the biggest challenge of this workout program has been the food and the diet that's been the really tough part you have to cook I cannot stress that enough you have to cook um, and 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 because I was because these hybrid workouts are really actually they, they're they're not easy as they look they will um, exhaust you. You only need to do them three times a week. Four, if you're really, you know, uh, motivated or have, or you know, or, or can commit to, or commit to that. But um, the hybrid workouts are, as it says, extreme. Like that's a full body workout. You're working yourself head to toe. That's basically three hours in the gym squeeze down to 15 minutes and you got to squeeze out every single muscle group in your body within that 15 minutes it is mm, i wouldn't call it a beginner level workout i would call it an, an advanced workout and um you should by the end if, if, if you're not dropping on the floor by the end of that workout um <laughs> you um, need to build your workout so that you are and the biggest thing with that with that with the hybrids is the um, the fork you gotta make sure that every push-up you do is a good form every squat that you do is good for you. and 
um, when you when when you are losing form, and it can happen because you have to be focused. You have to kind of look straight ahead and focus on one thing the entire workout. That's probably the best way to complete uh, those workouts is just by looking at one thing and focusing on it the entire time. Because um, if you lose focus even just for um, a second, then you will lose balance and um, you will probably injure yourself. And again, if you injure yourself, like that's, there's no point in, you know, going forward because uh, you're, it's not gonna help you heal any faster and you have to heal. So um, those workouts um, are, are, um, are pretty advanced but I think like with a good diet and rest um, you can focus a whole lot on um, on the extreme hybrid fat burning program um, which I was doing three times a week I did that program three times a week and that was more than enough that I needed to do I just you know I just did them uh, you know Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, took a break in between. Sometimes I would do them back to back. Monday, Tuesday, take a break and then do, um, you know, the Thursday. But um, as long as I was doing them three times a week, they um, gave me a really good uh, results afterwards. Like I usually would see results from that workout program by the end of the week if I started early. And I would just be like, wow, you know, that's awesome. I can actually see muscle. I can see muscle. I can see my arms are toned. And um, I think, wow, like seven, um, eight weeks of that, um, you'll actually see physical body transformations. Like you will see those physical transformations happen. And, um, that's a huge reward. I was getting compliments from my friends about my, you know, my skin complexion, uh, my booty, like, <laughs> um, you know, really things that I don't too often think about, but um, it's really great when your friends can tell you like, you know, wow, you know, you're really, um, you know, you're looking good and that's the most you can ask for. Um, so. Um, you know, coming up next month is my uh, going to be my 38th birthday. I'm going to be 38 years old, and um, you know, I just want to be in a good physical shape. Um, you know, going into you know that stage in my life, um, I want to be in good physical shape, and I don't want to be tired and any of that business I want to still be physically active way into my 40s so this is just a very sh this is a start you know this is a this is a very early start in the, you know that direction that I want to lead and it doesn't matter what it is I'm doing I just always want to be making sure that I'm not you know overweight and obese you know I want to be to some degree able to you know um, pick things up off the ground and lift things up without, you know, falling over, without, you know, um, uh, you know, I just, I want to be young for as long as I can. <laughs> and if this is the way to do it, then this is just how, um, how, how I'm doing it. And I feel great and I feel happy and I'm... I'm so excited, we did it, it's 90 days. It's a 90 day challenge, like it's so exciting. I mean, there is so much more to share about this experience, there's so much more. Um, and I do hope that um, for anybody who's watching you know, my video, if you go back to those videos, um, uh, go back to my 90 day challenge playlist and look at some of those videos, because those, those, those videos are sometimes one hour trails squished into 10 seconds for you. <laughs> Their highlights, the trends, everything that I was, you know, um, uh, you, you know, some of the some of the best moments of my workouts, and um, and, and and I really hope I can, um, you know, learn more from this. Just learn about my body, about my diet. Going forward into the future, I really want to do, I'm going to do this again, and hopefully I can do it, 
you know, twice as strong. But the thing is, right now, is that I feel like I can take a break now. I feel like I can just enjoy summer. Like, I don't feel like I have to get ready for summer to get in shape. But, you know, for the rest of the summer, I don't feel like I have to, you know, I don't feel like I have to work out anymore. I can literally go relax at the beach for the rest of the summer. Like, that's how I feel. Um, you know? And, 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 and until, you know, um, the next season comes and, yeah, I, I want to get back in shape and, you know, come back next summer even better than before. So, um, man... I really hope to share this experience um, with as many people as I possibly can and anybody who's just, um, you know, dealing with things in their life right now that's out of their control. Um, if, you know, if you're, if you're struggling with your mental health, if you're hurting, if you are um, confused and sad and, 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 you know, you're not happy with yourself or how you look um, and, and, and you really want to... You know, improve that quality of life for yourself I, I would really love to you know um, hear from anyone and talk to anyone about you know some of the things that I've been doing in this program um, because at the core of it is all my body hasn't changed like I don't have a six-pack or you know I probably still have a belly um, like at the core of it all my body hasn't really changed uh, but I feel so much more better about myself and and, and, and for anybody, anybody that's dealing with things that are out of their control and just looking to improve their lifestyle, um, you know, this is, you know, I, I say do the 90 day challenge and just see what it is that you can change about yourself. And I guarantee you in 90 days, you'll be a different person. I feel like I'm a different person right now than when I was um, in the beginning. It's the best feeling in the world. It really is. It's the best feeling in the world. So thank you to all, um, you know, who's tuned in to this video, to, to, you know, for this broadcast. It's, it's a little long. There's so many questions to ask. I know I don't know how to do this kind of stuff, the social media stuff. I'm trying to go live. Anyway, all I'm saying is that um, you can do it. I believe in you. If I could believe in myself, I can believe in you. And I want you all to be safe and healthy for the rest of the year. For the 90 Day Challenge, my name is Tori Black, the quickest diva in the West. Pow, pow. <laughs>